There's some supplies that you'll be needing. Um, these are this is a wheel off of a chair that you just you know those computer chairs you can roll around. Uh, if you do some strategic dumpster diving, you can find some of those really easy and cheap. If you don't want to do that, then you can easily buy you know small wheels like this that'll easily screw to the bottom of a robot. Uh, some wire is nice. Some you know the speaker wire works, and I have other wire that I found that works as well. I'll show you that later. Um, some nice random screws to just uh, put things together. Um, scrap pieces of metal will work great for attaching things. Also, you know, bigger pieces of metal for creating shovels or other things like that. If you want to use uh, um, more advanced, uh, if you don't want to solder, then you can use um, terminal. Um, things like this to attach wires together, um, some wood screws, I also have here some pneumatic pistons. These, um, if you can find a store that sells them and they, they are nice to educators, you can usually get them really cheap. Uh, if you could ask them for ones that, uh, that nobody wants anymore or some you know, extras that they have on hand, sometimes they can give them to you for free or I've, I've been lucky enough to find some, find some of these for um, really cheap. Sometimes they'll give them to me for two dollars when they're worth a lot more and as you can see I've slowly accumulated quite a few. Uh, there are two different types. We have this kind right here where there's only one one place to put the air in so as as the piston comes out uh, it's the air pushing in that makes it come out and it has a spring return. So you only have the uh, pressure for the out stroke and the in stroke you're, re uh, you're relying on the spring. This other type is a double acting one and uh, those are just covers. You can It pushes out and then you have to push it back in. So. These ones are nice because you have the uh, air forcing it out and air forcing it in, but you have a lot more hoses to worry about and you know a lot more parts. So if you want simplicity, I would go for single acting, but uh, if you want a lot more advanced functions, then you could do a double acting piston. The bigger around they are, the more uh, powerful they are but it makes it slower because it takes time for the air to fill up the cavity and uh, but the the smaller round ones are weaker but they punch and shoot out a lot faster um, this particular one um, would uh, punch out with about 20 pounds of force which is plenty because these robots don't weigh more than 10 pounds with the way that I make them Okay. To control the double acting, you'll need switches like this, uh, or this. This also does the exact same thing. To control the single acting ones, you need ones like this, where it's just the button that you push. So, simplicity, um, I like, but uh, these are kind of fun as well. Okay, I like to start out with a one foot by one foot board. You can cut it down later or, or change it or add on to it. This is about the right size for most robots. Um, then you'll end up attaching your motors on either side. There's another one I've made. Then you can also have your wheel coming down or this could be the top of the robot this could be hanging down below if you don't like that type of wheel we got these type of wheels as well so imagine how it slowly gets put together the way to attach the uh, all electronics is to use a, a terminal uh, block here or a strip and it has all these screws, that's how you would attach the uh, 
the wires from the motors to the wires from the controller. Nice, quick, easy way of doing it. I'm going to probably convert from this type to the type that you'd see on the back of stereos that have the, the spring uh, clip. You just pull back, it opens up a little gap, you just stick the wire in there and it comes back. Um, you can buy those from Kelvin for like a buck fifty. So um, this is what I use now, but eventually I'll be using the other type in the future. So either way works. The way to attach the motors, um, there's two ways that I've discovered so far. You don't want to use like a bunch of hot glue or anything like that because you want to be able to reuse these parts later on another robot. So um, what you want to do is you know, form the uh, metal around the, uh, the motor. You'll put one in the front and another one behind the, the wires in the back. And with those two combined, it'll make it nice and and uh, keep it in its spot. Now, in order to attach it, I need to punch some holes in the uh, in the metal, and then I'll take screws and screw them in from opposite sides, and that will slowly cinch it down and uh, attach it to the wood. I have some metal punchers. I have different size holes in them for different purposes. Um, you need a, just a small hole big enough for the screw to go in. Um, this one should work, so I'll punch one right here. And then I'll take another one on the other side. Punch one here. Doesn't have to be perfect. There's two holes. That's more than enough uh, metal. So I'll just cut off what I don't need right about here. I could probably use that other piece for my other half. So I'll just duplicate that. Sometimes it takes a little trial and error. So I got it most of the way. I have a little bit of flex there, and I'll go ahead and do the other one. Going, you can punch a couple holes that way if one doesn't work you can move to the other one all right before I cinch it all the way down I'm going to make sure it's um, straight with the, uh, the body and then we'll cinch it the rest of the way and I got two motors attached there Pretty simple and easy, straightforward. Shouldn't be too hard. Now, if you don't want to use the metal, I've also, uh, in the past, have drilled a couple holes and then use zip ties. Um, but uh, this seems to last longer. The zip ties, if you want to change something, you have to break them and then get a whole new one. But the metal, you can loosen a loosen a couple screws and tweak it, then put it right back together again. So I. I would prefer using metal over zip ties, but zip ties are an option.